Great. You realize we're going to ask you to sing at the end of this, right? So you're ready? Okay, good. Um, of the endorsements you've received, which one do you value the most? If, if there is one that you value the most. I'm sorry, say the first part again, you broke up. Um, of, of all the endorsements you have received, um, is there one that, the, that you value the most? Honestly, yeah, I, um, the, the thing is, is uh, also uh, moving up the ladder in DC, you get to meet a lot of the same people of color um, uh, that are, are, are poised to, to make it, right? And so the current executive director of Latino Victory is a close and personal friend of mine, Myra Macias, who was just promoted. We're the, we're the same age. Uh, and we both are doing amazing things now uh, when you would have never thought about this uh, three or four years ago. And so I say my heart, um, I, 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 my heart is with that group. Their, fin their national finance director and their executive director are, are two of my best close and personal friends. And they are doing amazing things. And so any way that I can support Latino Victory and their mission, I, I will do. And, and I, I just love all the care and resources they've given me. But at the same time, the LGBT Victory Fund uh, uh, trained me in 2017. I did a, a weekend boot camp in Seattle, Washington, where they just put us through a grueling training about the, the, the highest highs and the lowest lows of a campaign cycle that really did set me up uh, to plan out this strategy and plan out this, this move forward. And I think that both of those experiences and those connections have led me to a lot of the other um, endorsements and connections that I've gotten since then. So I would say those are the two of the bigger ones. Mm -hmm. 